Last week on Cassava Matters, we started a series on cassava varieties, talking about a very popular cassava variety, TME419. Today, we shall continue the series with another interesting variety known as Dixon. The variety Dixon, which used to be known as TMS980581, or 0581 for short, was named after a renowned and internationally acclaimed cassava breeder, Dr. Alfred Dixon, the director of the Development and Delivery Office of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, RITA. Dr. Dixon was recently named among the top 20 most influential plant breeders in Africa by the Southern African Plant Breeders Association. Fondly referred to as Dr. Cassava by his peers, Dr. Dixon is recognized for developing over 400 improved cassava varieties for a range of agroecologies and cropping systems in Africa. Dixon, who currently serves as the technical advisor to the second phase of the RITA cassava seed system project known as Building an Economically Sustainable Integrated Cassava Seed System, Basics 2, was the project leader of the RITA Integrated Cassava Project that supported presidential initiatives on cassava transformation in Africa. Before we talk about the details of the cassava variety named after him, the scientist has a few words about his work as a cassava breeder and his passion for cassava transformation in Africa. I have been a cassava breeder since 1989 at the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture and I have developed several varieties that suit the different cropping system and agroecologies in sub-Saharan Africa. But at the time, I recognized that just improving and disseminating improved varieties will not capitalize on the true potential of cassava in sub-Saharan Africa. As a result, though I'm not a food scientist, I am not a nutritionist, I started capitalizing on the commercialization and industrial utilization of cassava. In fact, in the 2000s, I started breeding for the pro-vitamin A varieties, which I know will contribute in alleviating hidden hunger in sub-Saharan Africa. And by the time I left IIT for a short spell to take on national assignment in my home country, Sierra Leone, the first and second generation of pro-vitamin A cassava varieties were released in Nigeria, the first to be released in Africa. But coming back to the commercialization and industrialization of cassava, cassava has over 1,000 uses. And if we can expand the utilization of cassava into those very multi-purpose uses the, and create markets for the primary raw material, which is cassava roots, grown by millions of African farmers, then our small older farmers in Africa will generate income which will subsequently lead to improvement of livelihood and poverty alleviation. So I went for that. Now, let us join Peter Iluebe, the International Trials Manager of the RITA Cassava Breeding Unit, for details about the cassava variety called Dixon. Now, this is 980581 which had been renamed as Dixon. Now, I don't, let me quickly say that, the be renamed as Dixon is named after the scientist who actually developed it. He's a breeder. It was in the day we developed this particular one. So it was in honor to the work he has done here that made him to be renamed after him. All these nomenclature started from 1992. All that was named from 1992 to 2008 were part of his work. Now, this is renamed as Dixon but it's 98581. What is particular about what this? It has very good yield. It has very, um, it has a good diameter. It is 
one particular thing about that, it is stay green. A stay green genotype is a genotype that even in the dry season, it retains its leaves and they keep on growing. It does not drop its leaves because it is stay green. It was at the peak of the dry season. And when you make people also like it because it has good gari, it also has good fufu. And then when it grows, like where you are seeing it grow, when it grows like this, you have enough planting material, like you have before one also, enough planting material when it grows. And then when you are going to cut, harvest the, uh, the planting material to go and plant somewhere else, it is to harvest because not, it is not growing anyhow. So that is one of the things we find as an attribute that farmers also like in this particular variety. So and you, if you look at between this one and that, you find out that the petiole color of this one is red. The petiole color of TME419 is green. And then uh, it grows up before it starts branching, but it has a, be, uh, a, a, a better branching habit than TME419. So that is why we have that. Then I think it's because of the fact that um, in the northern part of the country, where you have very high soil intensity, it is still retaining its leaves. I got to a particular level before I begin to drop leaves. Farmers in the north who do processing prefer also to have it. Prefer to have it. It has this one has bigger root size than TME419. And uh, the root also is uh, off white, even the outer skin is off white. But the the yield, the yield potential is like that of TME419. Dr. Dixon was the project leader of the RITA Cassava Weed Management Project which developed the six steps to cassava weed management toolkit. He believes strongly that to get the best yield from cassava, farmers must support the use of quality and improved varieties with sound agronomic practices for weed control. I have always said that uh, just providing high yielding varieties is not the only thing. It has to go with the good agronomic practices like correct time of planting, correct plant population, and most importantly, weed control. Weed control is a serious constraint in cassava production. And in fact, that's why the small older farmers cannot increase their farm size. As they start weeding, continue weeding, the earlier part weeded becomes weeded and they can spend the whole year weeding, particularly in the humid forest zone. So having a project like the one we already have, the cassava weed management project, has provided a very great means of controlling weeds in cassava farmers' uh, fields. And with the compelling extension message that we developed from that project, it's helping to revolutionize cassava in terms of providing higher yields that farmer can generate surplus and sell to industries. And also, because of the improved cassava weed management that we've come up with using agronomic factors, using herbicides, farmers can easily double their yields from the current average of 10 tons per hectare to more than 20 tons per hectare. And in some cases, with the type of improved varieties we have, farmers can even get 35 to 40 tons per hectare, depending on the soil fertility status and the environment of their farms. Let us now take a look at the Six Steps Toolkit. <music> Nje ofe gbi ege ki o si jere repete. Anwo e gbe se mefa ti o ron o lowo ni yi ati je ki ala re wa si imu se. I gbe se kini wa ile to ba lora ti ko dagun ti ki yi se ile omi, ile okuta tabi ile lile. I gbe se keje ti gbe ba kun fun opolopo igi ikoriko ati awon eka igi to pe we daada to se tayo ohun ti owo je ero apako le ka. Ge igbo na lule ki o se kwa oko na to ba se je pe igbo na okun fun koriko ti ki ku boro bi ekan bere tabi esu akintola igi anamo to gagogoro tabi eleyi ti won pe ni ma fowo kan mi ati bebe lo 
ta won bu won ibaga ju nkan ti owo ja ero apako le kalo gi won lule ki o si se suru fun bi ose meji ko fi bere si hu pada igbese keta fi ogun apako eya glyphosate fun apere round up turbo touch down 40 ni oji won bi a se ko sara ogun apako na lati gbogun ti awon koriko ti won se hu latari ba se gi won lule tele fin odi won ogun apako glyphosate si oku ti koriko ti ki kuboro to wa lori e to ba ti gaju iwon ese patakan lo leyin eyi se mi fun nkan bi ojo merin la gbako ki ogun apako glyphosate yo fi le pa awon koriko na ku fin fin igbese kerin pipa o ko je igbese to gbowo lori gan ni sugbon ta ba se bo sito o ma nje ki ere oku ege ko po re pete ta ba tu ile lona to to o ma nje ki ege o ta daada o kere ju ni won tonu marun lori sare oku kan afiti ere ori tonu marun ba ju ye ta fe pa sare oku kan lo lo ye ki abe ogbiyanju ati pa oku lona ta la kale yi ki ko ibe sori oku ma nje ki ege o ta daada ti ikore sare kan o si to bi tonu merin gbiyanju ki o ko ibe sori oku re ti ere ori tonu merin ege lori oku na ba ju ye ti afi fi ko ibe sori oku na lo o dara ki agbe o ko ibe to ba sakiyesi pe ile na le je ile alamo tabi ta ba pinu lati kore oku na lasiko erun tabi ti awon epo ori oku na ba je ile yi to soro pa igbese karun gbin ege tabi gba guda nigbati ile ba tutu ni won ese bata bi meta meta sira won 1 meter by 0.8 meters tabi 0.7 meters laye yi fin ogun apako bi prime extra gold ni odi won lita meri fun sare oko kan tabi lagon ni odi won lita o le ida merin fun sare oko kan laarin wakati merin le logun leyin ta ti gbin ege tabi gba guda sinu oko e ma fin ogun apako sori ile bigbe e pa aro gba guda ti ko ba hu jade laarin ojo meedogun si ojo mokan le logun igbese kefa nigbati koriko ba ti hu to ida ogbon ninu ogorun loko re ti won ti nlewe merin si mefa lori fi ogun apako to n pa ewe fin fin lona igbalode pelu ro lowo ero ta fin fin oko tabi ona to ba rorun fun o ninu oko ti grassi ba po lapoju fi ogun apako grassi fusilid 40 e won liter meta fun sare oko kan fin koriko grassi ya be ewe ege nigbati ege na ba ti n pe ose mejo tabi ju be lo sugbon ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti grassi tabi koriko ilewe miran fi hu nbe fi owo tu awon koriko na lati de na ki ogun apako kan igi ege ati ewe re ninu oko ti koriko ba wa poju fin glufosinate ammonium lifeline basta fascinate ni won ti o wa lara pa le odi won re ale fin glyphosate iyan round up turbo touch down 40 ati be be lo ni ona ti ati la kale lara pa le ogun apako na o se pataki ewe lati fi nkan idabubu senu ero ta fi fi oko ki ogun apako ma kan ara ege na ko ma ba ba je ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti oko na si ku fun koriko ti wi won fe daada fi owo tu awon koriko na kuro ma fi ogun apako kan si oko lodo odun tori pe eleyi le fa ki ogun apako ko ma sise mo fun alaye lekun rere I can see the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, Africa Cassava Agronomy Initiative, Lori Ero, 0803-978-4453, Tabi 0803-443-0027. For more about the person and work of Dr. Alfred Dixon, visit our website, rita.org and cassavamatters.org. To watch missed episodes and other useful cassava weed management videos, go to our YouTube channel, Cassava Matters, and subscribe. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For questions, comments, and inquiries, please use the following contact details on your screen. We'll be glad to hear from you.